Uh, ignore that. Uh, hey. Uh, hey, Capit. Um, uh, yeah, so it turns out that, uh, certain programs don't work well with, uh, OBS Studio being open, or they don't appear right, so I had to do some screwing around to get this to work. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, cool, 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 uh, I think everything's working right now. Um, still recording. All oh, right, I have to. I have to check uh, the stream diagnostics because it doesn't look right. You're gonna see the cursor move a lot. That's just a weird something or other that happens here. It's not. Don't worry about that. You could. You can hear me, right? Everything sounds fine. Yeah, it didn't. Um. Oh no, never mind. It did. It showed it. Why? Okay, all right, yeah, uh, that's weird. It only shows like one title. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me just configure the sound. Uh, difficult, normal. Uh, this doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. Diving sensitivity, uh, camera speed, fast, camera up, camera dip. Wait, really? Okay, with the L buttons. Um, backward, forward, backward, forward. Okay, uh, triangle does nothing. Square, bubble, action, jump. Okay, what does this do? I didn't press the right button. Oh. All right, we'll just leave it as is. Uh, so this game will be explained in the opening cutscenes. I don't really even need to talk talk over it. All 
I'll go into a little more detail once we once we get to the action. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. This might cheer you up. I don't want it. Okay then. Well, if you insist, then I guess I'll have to take it. Okay then. Here, <laughs> take it. Unfazed. <laughs> <laughs> Porto. Now that's what I call a good night's sleep. That dream reminded me of, of. So he's dream. He dreamt of a thing from his childhood, getting a Clonoa vibe from this. It is not oh, the same well, company, though. Now they are. Um. So this game was made by Bandai. And published by Atlas, and then Bandai fused with Namco to become Bandai Namco. So it is technically owned by the same people, though this particular series is now owned by um, their subsidiary, CyberConnect2, who also does the uh, Dot Hack games and some other stuff. They also did uh, the new Dragon Ball game. I've been looking forward to a day off for a long time. How am I going to spend it? I wonder who that could be. Did they make Kakarot? Yep. Hello? What? The Black Cat's gang is attacking Rasaka? Packs of kittens are tearing up the town? Yes, sir. I'll be right there. He's a good there boy. There goes my day off. It's a dirty job, but some dogs gotta do it. Hold up. That's a mutt. Yep, he's a dog. This is our home, Prairie. Here we go. This, this is the exposition. And home to many dog people and even a few cat people. Prairie was built upon the ruins of an ancient civilization. Many relics have been found around the land. These relics are very precious because they hold mystical powers. They are a part of our heritage and a very important part of our daily life. We know very little about the ancient civilization that preceded us, or how they perished. Nor do we know much about the artifacts they left behind. All we are left with is a big mystery. So there you go. Uh, futuristic, or not even futuristic, but a kind of steampunky world. You sure he ain't a cat? No, he's not a cat. Um... Those are cats. They're mean kitties. What was that? Could that be the Black Cats gang? I should talk to the locals and see if they have any information for me. Alright, so, uh, yeah, it's a mech game. It's a game with, with it's a furry mech game. Uh, so here, so here's the, here's the rub. Um, oh yeah, I could do that. I forgot. This is like Tron Bond. Yes, actually, it is very much like Tron Bond. In fact, the reason I played this game is because uh, I enjoyed. Tr wow, these controls are like on a tr hair trigger here. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, storyline is that they live on these floating islands in a region called Prairie. Uh, they are built off of an ancient civilization that perished before them. They use their, uh, ancient technology to build stuff. They have no idea what's going on. And that's kind of it, really. Um, so it's like kind of po steampunk post-apocalyptic. And, uh, you play as this little dog named Waffle, uh, which... I kind of teased that last night when I made a tweet talking about waffles. Um, and you, you ride around in this little mech. Uh, you swipe things and you fire bubbles at people. I forgot how this game is very, very uh, touchy with its left and right controls. Yeah, and if you fall off, you take damage. 
Is there any Pac-Man iconography in this game? No, because this game was not made by uh, Namco. This game was made by Bandai before uh, they fused with Namco. I remember this game being this loose. Oh my god. Hey, are you alright? Ah, uh, oh, my warehouse! Darn those black cats! Look at what their bombs did! Woof! If I had known, I would have thrown them back at them before they exploded! This is the switch for the crane! It looks like it was damaged in the attack. Kinda walks around, he has like little floppy... Floppy arms. I will say, like, you notice, like, the game's very cutesy, but, like, if you look at the back of the, uh, mech, you could see that green, like, eyeball thing. And it's like, oh, okay, they're using kind of, like, that, that, like, Le Mega Man Legends-esque technology. How do I get that? Alright. Camera's not loose. You get, like, levels, and that's it. So it's Klonoa then. Uh, it's kind of it's it's kind of in the vein of a lot of those um, PS1 3D platformers, which is funny because I was ragging on Legends 2 the other day when I beat Mega Man X7. The kittens are vandalizing the warehouses. Hurry up and capture them, please. To enter a warehouse, stand in front of the door and press the action button. Ah, yes, the action button. There we go. Get near the kittens and capture them with the action button. If you use the bubble blaster on the kittens, you can capture them easily. Are you talking to yourself, Waffle? So yeah, you grab them and I think you just put them in your thing, in your machine. This game doesn't look very good. I, I was testing out uh, GameCube games the other day, and I managed to up them to look, like, really nice for, for a GameCube game. And I'm just, like, wishing that uh, I could do that with this. I probably could. I just, um... Yeah. Waffle found a whistle. When the police robo is damaged, he can repair it using this. I mean, by is there a dark tone by the half of the game? I would say that... Alright, I forgot you can aim. Um, I would say that this game, no, not really. The tone is... Well, it does get a little more serious towards the end, as you'll see. I don't want to get into too many details, because there's a lot more to this series um, than just this game. Well, there's two games in this series. There's this, and then there's a DS game that came out about 15 years later. Not 15, like... 13 or 12. Um, how do I get over there? Uh, I, I want that whistle. Uh, oh, select waltz. Whistles four. How do I use those? Oh, or is that just lives? And apparently a new game for the Switch this year. Yes! Uh, well, I don't know. Is it for the Switch? I thought it was for PS4. I know there was a game in the works for the series that was supposed to be on PS3. And it got, uh, cancelled. But, um... Not to go into... Yeah. Those kittens are throwing bombs. I'd better watch out. Fuga, Melodies of Steel. Yep. You can pick up and throw the bombs and barrels with the action button. So... Yeah. This game's tone kind of stays lighthearted throughout it. I will say that the second game, though, which I do plan on streaming in the future, gets a lot more serious. And there is, um, there's a lot more to this, 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 like, series than just what you see in this game. This game is very, very nice. Uh, just because it's, like, it's, it's a good time. In tone, I mean. Uh, this game is actually pretty frustrating to play. If I recall, there are some parts later on that get really annoying. And I'm highly doubting that I could beat this in four days. Um... Oh, and to make matters worse now... <laughs> there's, um, a huge update coming out for Super Mario Maker 2 on Wednesday, so... 
I'll probably end up streaming that instead of this. So I don't know. This game, I might have to finish this game on Saturday after I've done the first uh, or the third Trials of Mana stream on Friday. Since I'll be picking up right where the demo left off. This is the only game in the series that's a platformer then? No. Uh, the DS game is pretty much... It's similar to this in some ways and different in a few others. Um, again, I don't want to go into too many details because... What the hell? Uh, it gets a little spoilery. And this game has a really good, uh, like, storyline and backstory to it. Or the series, rather, so I don't want to go too deep into that yet. I feel like... Th this is a DualShock controller, how come... Oh. Well... Ah, oh, never mind. I can't turn anything. <laughs> Try throwing the bombs back at the kittens above. Hold the action button down and a guide will appear on the screen. Use the view buttons to look up. You can aim a lot easier. I guess I got a couple PS1 games after this game's done. Um, yeah, I mean, you could recommend them. I'm, I'm kind of tight on streaming for the next few months just because I got this this week. I've got Trials of Mana uh, coming out at the end of the week. I kind of have the next few games after that planned too, but I might have time for another one after that. Controls very loose. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Either Pac-Man World or again Klonoa. I've streamed Klonoa one. I streamed Door to Phantom Meal on uh I think two years ago. I did it in a single stream and it was very frustrating. The end of that game is not easy. Hey, I found a piece of a photograph. I wouldn't be- I had a few other- like, I had Kulanoa on the, uh, is it still up? It's on my YouTube channel. Uh, look on my- if, uh, scroll down, find the YouTube link, uh, and look- uh, and look at- find the playlist, uh, one-off streams. It should be in there. Life 30% up. Oh, okay, that's a health refill. Eh, eh, eh. No left and right control, uh, camera support. Yeah, destroy planet. Another photograph. Destroy chairs, yeah. Destroy with reckless abandon. What do you expect? He's a cop. Officer, help me! Huh? What's the matter? The Black Cats gang is vandalizing my wine cellar! I can't bear the thought of those kittens tap dancing on my barrels of vintage wine! Okay, okay, pull your polygons together. I'll stop the kittens. Is that... what was that fourth wall break there? I forgot that that was a thing! Please hurry, get the Black Cats or my wine cellar! Oh, I can't- oh, I can't go in there to go find the wine cellar. Just a fair warning, that Klonoa stream is four hours long. It was a very, very long stream, and I was very tired by the end of it. And very frustrated. Uh, where's the wine cellar? Where's the leak, ma'am? What? Why are you back here? Didn't I clear this room out?
All right, I captured all the kittens in the warehouses. Weird, how did I miss that? I'm gonna be heading to bed soon, but it's been fun watching you play this. Yeah, the game, the beginning's a little slow. It picks up a bit. This game's pace is, is generally on the slower side, though. Also, the sequel is much better. The sequel's a lot wordier, though, so there's a lot more cutscenes and dialogue. All right, you two cap it. I'll see you around. You've captured all the kittens. Thank you very much. And uh, the wine barrels are okay, right? What? Uh, sure, of course. <laughs> By the way, I saw three cats in an airship heading towards the ruins. I think they're the leaders of the Black Cats gang. The ruins, huh? Yes, the ancient castle floating above Rosaka. You could get there in the elevator, and uh, you could get there using the elevator in the tower. Shooting bubbles at people does nothing. The Black Cats... the The Black Cats gang and their leaders must have headed that way. I remember someone telling me I could take this elevator to the top. Someone? The guy you just talked to? Yeah. Yeah. What the? Yeah. Oh, look at these hoodlums. They drew all over the wall. Oh yeah, I remember this when I first played the game. There's just a sign over here that says, Koo. And I always think of pigeons whenever I see it. It's the pigeon house. Even though there's no pigeon people. Frank Raj. I wonder what that means. Hey, I better not catch you throwing my furniture around. I can't really complain it's for I can't really complain if it's for an investigation though. Yeah, sorry. Gonna have to destroy all this. Thank you. Bones. Oh, look, this sneaky fucker. Go to jail. Hey, this kitten was carrying something. Waffle found a toy doll. Look how good of a boy he is. Uh, I think that was the coup house, right? Yeah, it was coup. It's coup. prison you go. You could damage the kitten's vehicles by using your bubble blaster. Look, 
meat. Uh. So yeah, photographs you can view in uh in your house. Not much to it. They're just bonus collectibles, that's all. Oh, that's how you do it. If you if you hit um if like you ow. If like you jam the uh, bubble blaster while uh you mash a direction. Now I remember why this game was a little frustrating. Ugh. Not too bad, though. At least not yet. Hey, this kitten was carrying something. Awful found a bag of coal. This door is locked. I can't get in. Open, it's locked. Oh no. Engineer sighs as he watches the fire in the boiler burn out. The black cat stole our coal. The boiler, the boiler, the boiler, the boiler won't work without it. If you want to use the elevator, you'll need to find some coal. Is this the coal you were talking about? Waffle hands the coal to the engineer. Gripping storytelling. Yeah, this is it. Wait here, I'll turn the boiler on right now. The engineer tosses the coal into the boiler. You aren't supposed to put that much coal in at once, are you? Trust me, it'll be fine. This should keep it going for a long time. I... I hope so. This may not be... This may not look like much, but it's an honest living. Cover up your flubs with accents. Ruins. Black Cat's gang, you're under arrest. I, is that you, Officer Waffle? Panda, what are you doing here? I'm trying to ambush the Black Cat's gang. Yeah. How are you, Officer Wobble? If you want to report to headquarters, please use my radio. All right, he's like a save point. You want to report to headquarters? Save. Yes. Save data. Which memory card slot? Uh, I don't even know if this is going to work. I can also do Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out here. This game is tank controlly, yeah. It's weird how they show the controller. Oh, I can't actually change the controls here, can I? No, I can't. Huh? I hear voices from behind the door. Oh, oh, is this the 
crystal? That was easy. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Blair, did you wash your hands after you ate that candy? Hey! You idiot! You got chocolate all over the crystal! Wow. There, that was some quality mic peeking right there. You must be the leaders of the Black Cats gang. Freeze! You're all under arrest. What? Who do you think you're talking to? Hey, look! It's the girl from the intro. Oh. You... you're... And you're... Hey, hey, hey! Well, what's going on? Is that you? Alicia? Shut up! I don't know you! Don't you remember me? You lived next door to me when you were eight years old. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll show you what happens to people who mess with the Black Cats gang! This sounds like something recorded Flair, on my own Stare, microphone. Are you ready? Flair, Stare, and Alicia. Yes! Sure. Egg. Uh, so yeah, this is how boss fights work. There is one very, very annoying boss fight later on. Uh, okay. Yeah, just throw it into nothing. Squished metal. It's pretty damn powerful. Uh oh. That's their. That's a uh, stairs attempt at a uh, stoic voice, by the way. Yeah. one trying to steal. Yeah, what Alicia said. <sighs> do we have to do that again? Flair just hanging right off the, the ladder. She knew my name, so it must have been Alicia. Hmm, what's this? Oh, well, uh, what's this? Could this be the crystal that Alicia was talking about? Waffle found the red crystal. Out of the waffle. Hey, how's it going, Panta? Catch any black cats? Uh, no, but I've got a message from headquarters. Orders I from the brass. He chased away the black cats gang. Excellent job, Waffle. Thank you, sir. From now on, you're in charge of the black cats case. Yeah, but I was gonna... It's gonna have to meet up in Raccoon City. 
and uh, team up with uh, Leon. Are you nuts? There's no way you're taking a vacation while people need your help. What? Essential what workers in a nutshell. Your vacation is cancelled until you capture the Black Cats gang. Oh, man. Send the captured kittens to headquarters with a police robo's transporter. We'll keep you updated. Report back to headquarters with your updates. Got police, it? Police robo, so that's what that thing is actually called. I was wondering if there's an official name for it, because in the later games, or in the later game, uh, the character has a name for his robot. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Chief, the black cats dropped this crystal. What should I do? What's that? Stop wasting time with your crystals and find those kittens! Stop charging your crystals, no waffle. Yes, sir. He's gonna he's gonna J-O with that crystal. He's gonna charge it up. I'm sorry for all the trouble you went through, Officer Waffle. It's funny too because that, that meme has gotten to the point where you could just say you're charging your crystal without even mentioning the jacking off part and people know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I may not be very big, but I'm determined to help you. If we team up, we can nail the Black Cats gang. Thanks, Panta. Just like Waffle wants to nail Alicia. Well then, I think I'll go and talk to the townspeople again. I'm ruining this family-friendly game. My presence makes everything worse. <laughs> I'll never forgive him. Who's there? Huh? I like how Stare has a band-aid on her uh on her hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I startle you? Fool, what are you doing here? Well, well, well. This isn't like you at all. The Chris sisters of the Black Cats gang have been beaten by a stupid cop, eh? I mean, he's not all wrong. The wonderful weapons I've given you. He was tougher than we thought, that's all. We'll get him next time. You will collect all five crystals hidden throughout Prairie. As you promised, right? Yeah, whatever. You just better keep your part of the bargain. So, what? I mean, I whatever. Yes, of course. I'm just a simple merchant, so credibility means everything to me. I don't like him. He he smells like fish. Ew. Well, now what? Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out here. The inside is hollow. I wonder if the crystal was in here. Is that other bone still here? Yes. I don't think I need it, though. Like, there's only, like... I guess there is 360 movement, but, like, the way... It, when you're moving and then you turn, like, you almost turn. I guess you turn in eight direction. Because it seems like you turn around and it just, like, bumps you all the way... It makes you move farther than you think it will. Downtown, we hid downtown while the tittens. Oh my god. 
We hid downtown while the kittens terrorized the harbor and plaza. Have you been downtown? We opened the gate so you can go there anytime. Okay, so that door's open now. You ran the black cats off? Hey, that's impressive. Darn those kittens! Look at all this graffiti! Oh, come off! This game does that PS1 thing where, like, you move close to an object and it's like, oh, it's straight. And then you tilt the camera and you see that, like, everything's kind of, like, interplaced lines. Vinyl if tail. At least in that building, you saw, like, the, uh, the, like, the, uh, the boxes were kind of curved in the middle. I heard you chased away the black cats. Thanks. By any chance, do you any do you know anything about the furs in mine? That's where the head of the Iron Giant was recently excavated, right? I love that movie. Everybody's been talking about it. Yeah, I heard the cat girls talking about it. They said something about a crystal hidden in the mine. I wonder what they meant. A crystal? I wonder if there's another crystal in Furzen. Okay. I'll go to the Furzen Mine on my airship. Hey, working hard, eh? Hmm. Someone put up a sign saying, Do not enter, staff only. Dang. Are you the ones who arrested the black cats by yourself? You don't seem that tough. <laughs> well, it was... nothing. I wasn't trying to flatter you or anything, but thanks. Is it true the kitten stole the coal in the engine room? I should lock that door. Eh. Fuck your table. Do you know about the islands of Airleaf to the east? There are so many small islands that you can't navigate Airleaf by airship. Airleaf? I could possibly get there in my airship. I should check it out soon. She just said you couldn't. I stayed here the whole time the black cats were here. Now I could go out safely. Remember when I could go out safely? Ugh, that was a fun... Fun time in my life that's now far behind me, apparently. Airship Arcanius will return to Resica Harbor soon. I wish I could ride in an airship like that. Out. Kidnapped my baby. Your baby? Kidnapped? Your baby? <laughs> Your baby. Yes. 
Oh, you mean your doll. His name is Morris. By any chance, is this the baby you were looking for? Waffle hands the doll to the girl. Oh, Morris, thank you, Mr. Policeman. This is for you. Waffle was given a photograph. Thank you for the photo. I'll put it in my album later. Good luck, Mr. Policeman. Oh, there we go. Another complete photo. If you want to go to another island, you could use your airship. I think the lives are the uh, dog whistles. I think we got all we're getting out of it. Sengon Harbor. View Ocean Wine Company. I heard you chased away the leaders of the Black Cats. Thank you. By the way, aren't you Professor Russell's grandson? What? You know my grandpa? I thought so. You kind of reminded me of him. I hope I don't look too much like my grandpa. The professor likes wine from Osaka. He bought a case just a few days ago. Yup, Grandpa likes a glass of wine with dinner. Wine is a specialty of this town. I think they got all the crap taken out over here now. I already defeated the leaders of the Black Cats. They're the ones who destroyed this warehouse, right? Very impressive. I'll have to rebuild this warehouse. Gosh, this is going to cost me a fortune. Investigate here a bit longer. Wait, really? I'll return to game, that's why. I should get on my airship and investigate other locations. I should report my status to headquarters. So the way his airship works is pretty cool. It, like he just hooks his um he just hooks his uh mech to the front of it. Porto, Furzen, we can't go to Grimto, Coolant, Praria, or the Eggstone yet. Frizzland. Great Ocean. Let's go back to Porto for a moment. This is the only place you get to walk around. The mine became famous after the head of the Iron Giant was discovered there. Your grandfather's researching that kind of stuff, isn't he? Mine became... Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
The Arcania, the Arc oh my god, saying that is a pain in the ass. The Archaeonis is excuse the Arc the Archaeonis used to be the airship used exclusively by the royal family. Now it's available for now it's available for public use. Oof. That read. An old inventor named Doctor Jones lives in Airleaf. That must be Waffles' uh, grandpappy. His peepaw. Phonograph. Uh, like how O oh, just salutes. Okay, that lets you just uh, edit this stuff. Photo album. Okay, let's get to see art. Uh, various concept art from the game. Cleavage cat. Uh, the quiet cat. The annoying cats. Couple dogs. And then a bunch of whack noises. I think each photograph is four pieces. Five, sixteen so far, which means I've got quite a few left. Police Robo. Oh wait, are there upgrades for this? Oh, it's just a controller config, never mind. I don't understand why the two sticks do nothing. No, sorry, the right stick, the left stick moves, but the buttons do nothing. So you have to use the left stick. There's not much reason to come back here otherwise. You could save, I guess. Big chunky doors. Oh, a message from headquarters! Waffle, we have a problem. The passenger ship Archeonis has been hijacked by the Black Cats. Hijacked? Yes, we got a report that the Black Cats boarded the airship. The line was disconnected before we were able to get more details. At the moment, it has changed course and is circling Rasaka. Since losing contact, we don't have any details on the situation inside. Got it, I'll get there right away. Okay, I'm heading for the Archeonis. I guess I had to go on that to, uh, get that dungeon unlocked. So I could choose any of these areas. It's a bit open-ended, but at the end, but by the end of it, you go everywhere, so. Might as well do the most urgent mission first. What was that explosion? It sounds like it came from the engine room. I wonder if the passengers are okay. Where's the entrance to the ship? Oh, you get blown back.
Very, uh, very PS1 music right here. With that gentle, that gentle synth drum. And the music actually ends. Uh oh. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Let's not touch that. I said let's not touch that. There we go. I don't remember this at all. A lot of this game is just kind of like a blur. I seem to remember a lot of the damage you take in this game being incidental, like, hazard damage. Inside Archeonis. The black cats jumped out of the cargo and took control of the cockpit. There are cats everywhere and the engine broke down. What on earth is going on here? We have to hide here. Boy, we must be in trouble. This is kind of exciting. Notice that anytime the camera changes... Oh, I forgot you could grip ledges. Okay, good to know. Anytime the camera pans around, like, there's like a little screen tear in a very specific spot. A cat jumped out when I opened my closet. It really scared me. Also that they blow up somehow, even though they're just like hot air balloons. down the uh, ladder. The Archeonis is out of control. The boiler won't will explode if it isn't fixed. What? Isn't there something you can do? Oh, it's the top of the text box going away. Black Cat stole my toolbox. If only I had it. In the door.
Ooh, another whistle. <gasps> Alright, I forgot. If you hold down the attack button, yeah, you do that. You do the fucking, uh, like, uh, Bart Simpson not hitting Lisa, uh, movement. Again, no left and right camera movement is kind of weird. I kind of forgot that this game did that. I forgot a lot about this game. The only time... I can't remember when I played this. Was it 2013? 2014? I'll have to look it up on, uh... On my Twitter. It was, it was either 2013 or 2014. And then I played the sequel, like, right afterwards. something. Toolbox. Now they could fix the engine. These tables are resilient motherfuckers. Wow, it's hot in here. I can't get through with all the steam. I've gotta figure out some way to stop the steam or I can't go any further. Oh, you, there's fall damage in this game. I had no idea. I found it here. Waffle hands the toolbox to the engineer. Use the wrench and twist and twist. Now the engine should be fine. Flying puts it uh, up. Can... Flying too fast puts too uh, much strain on the engine. What on earth happened to the captain? Oh, is he allergic to cats? Is that the joke? All right, I've captured all the kittens on the ship. Have a have a 
Thanks a bunch. I'm allergic to cats and I couldn't stop sneezing. By the way, do you have any idea what the black cats were doing were going with the ship? I heard the kitten saying something about an abandoned factory. An abandoned factory? I wonder if the black cat's hideout is there. Anyway, thanks for stopping the black cats. This place is safe for now. Well, time for me to get back to work. Mission complete. So that's done. Uh, I don't need to go back to Rasaka. Interesting that they didn't really pan out into anything, huh? Uh, Airleaf will do after Furzen. Actually, Furzen's a pain in the ass. I can't remember which one of these is, is more fun. Airleaf's pretty good. Leaf is a bunch of disjointed islands. <laughs> Those hands flopping just get me every time. These are the Airleaf Islands. It's almost impossible for airships to navigate the area with all these little islands. So it's the perfect place for a hideout for the Black Cats. Weird too, cause hitting, hold, yeah. See, cause holding left and right still makes you move. So you can't just do that. To like look around. There's present over there. Present over there. I think you could go to all these islands, including the little ones over there. But how, you might ask. Oh, well, be patient, you asshole. We'll find out in a minute. Excuse me, have you seen a group of kittens around here? Oh, good. Uh, you came at the right time. I need your help. Aha! Just as I suspected. The black cats, right? No need to worry. Now that I'm here... It's kind of old, but I guess it's enough for my experiment. An experiment? What experiment? Hey, hold it. What are you doing? Hey, knock it off. Yes, this is perfect. Sometimes I amaze myself. And... What is it? What do you think it is? It's my high-speed jetpack. With this, we can rescue people who get lost in the islands. So, the black cats aren't around here, are they? The black cats? Oh, no. I'm looking for someone who can rescue people who get lost in the islands. You'll do it for me, right? It'll also be a test for my new invention. Alright, I'll do my best. The jetpack is really easy to operate. Just press and hold the jump button to fly and steer with the directional buttons. Oh, now I get to use the directional pad. Cool. Your objective says target. That means someone's stuck on an island. Good luck.
We weren't done in here yet, though. That looks grabbable. It's not. Oh, okay, the dive is if you jump and press the, uh, the attack button at the same time. Not that, uh, if you jump and press a direction, like you jerk left. Oh, no, never mind, you can't use the directional buttons. What the hell, did my controls get wait a minute, wait a second. I want to see something here. Left, down, right. You know what? It's because I'm using a dual shock. It's because it's it's recognizing it as a dual shock. I wonder if I um before I do anything, let me quick save. See if I could f change this to a uh normal pad there we go now it's on the buttons it's just way better for how loose these controls are Making it. Oh, that's really far. Waffle. 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 Oh my god. Steering this thing is a pain. Gotta watch for fall damage. Forgot about that. Oh no. Okay, so the jetpack isn't that great. Goosey-goosey. What is going on? Where am I? Okay, that happened. Okay, so tapping it uh, definitely helps.
I see a treasure box over there. Shit. I'm gonna hit that platform, I'll spawn back up there at least. I'm bothering to go for the photographs. It's not like I care about collecting all of them. But there seems to be something over there. Ooh, and there's another photograph over there. It's weird because once you lift off and you and you press forward, it it like starts counting and it's tilting downward. You have to tilt down. You have to tilt downward. Ugh. It's a bit touchy, eh? Over there? And down I go. Total concentration or I'll just fucking crash and burn. Eh. Got spittle on my screen. Ooh. Ooh. That was lucky. That was very, very lucky. Why did I bounce over there? What happened? Oh, look at that. Multiple presents. On the worst way, all in the worst possible spots. So those things just floating out there, those like small ones are just uh like other other rocks. They're not uh actually anything special. I'm sure I'm gonna miss one somewhere.
Whew. Well, that was fun. Now to figure out how to get over there. seriously just give up I've been doing this that long that the music's just gone what uh, okay I think the game kind of glitched out uh, I better I better save that <laughs> Nice camera control. Oh my god. Oh no! Slightly too little health. Too little fuel. Where can I j pop off here to get to there? At least I think that step pawns me right there. No, never mind. Oh wait, yeah, no, it does. No, it doesn't. Shit. Fuck. This is rough. Ah, because I'm a dog. Oh. To be frozen would have been less frustrating than this. There we go. That's the good stuff. Uh, no! Ow. Oh, whew! Waffle, you idiot. That, come on. Waffle. Please. Plus. I'll be taking that, thank you. You, on the other hand, can fucking suffer. All right, mister? What? <sighs> oh, boy, did I sleep. Grandpa? Is that you, Grandpa Russell? So you're the one who got lost in the Airleaf Islands. What a twist. What an ordeal. I wanted to use a shortcut, but I ended up getting lost. <laughs> oh. Grandpa, driving when you're tired is a really bad idea. Life lessons from Waffle. Ah, uh, you sound like your mama. Anyway, why don't you come with me to do some research sometime? No, I'm good. Research? 
sorry. You mean search for the parts of the Iron Giant? Of course. Hurry up, let's go. Hey, gra Oh, I didn't realize it stops the thing. Hey, Grandpa, wait! Eggstone. This place. This place. Is this the Eggstone? Is this part of the Iron Giant? Wow, did you figure that out all by yourself? Hmm. Sound very condescending hmm, there. You saying? Is that your attitude toward my life's work? Uh, I'm sorry. Well, what else do you want him to say? It's not like he knows this shit. I can't believe that you became a cop instead of following in my footsteps. Yeah, seriously, Waffle, what the fuck? The legend of the Iron Giant. I heard that story every day when I was a kid. He was a giant who could reach the clouds. He was born of a man of diminutive stature who had eaten the seeds of wisdom. Iron scraps and a pinch of sand were his womb. His first bath was in a smelter, and his first breath was filled with hatred. His arms touched the clouds, his roar shook the heavens, and his breath froze the land. That's not the he Iron Giant I know. To those who stood in his way, and he left nothing but silence in his way. Legend always includes some truth. You used to tell me that, huh, Grandpa? That's because I have great faith in it. Well, I have more research to do. Keep up the good work, Waffle. Don't waffle in your convictions. Only waffle on your plate. Oh, he's gone already. He never... He never stays in one place for long. The story of the Eggstone is carved on this marker. The Eggstone is the most enigmatic relevant, relevant enigmatic relic ever found in Prairie. Unlike other relics, this stone wasn't buried, but found as it stands today. Some historians feel that it may be a tribute to an ancient god while others say it's a tombstone, but no one knows for certain. Secrets. I love how the jetpack's just gone now, too. I don't think there's anything else to do in Airleaf. I think you just get the jetpack back as soon as you go here. But you can't keep it, unfortunately. Yeah. I've equipped the jetpack. When you leave, I'll mount it onto your airship. Wait, really? Okay. I guess it's there for a later part of the game. Every year, some yahoo tries to investigate or navigate the skies above Airleaf. I'm wondering if I missed anything. I mean, if I did, do I really care enough to go looking for it? Eh, maybe. Cursory glance couldn't hurt. Then again, this game seems to be doing pretty good with draw distance. It doesn't really seem like I need, uh... I need to get close for anything to load in. Wait a minute. Oh, I did miss something. Right in front of the place, in fact. Also, it looks like there's one up there, too. Shit. Oh my god! This fucking jetpack is terrible. I hate it.
furry Mega Man legends. Yep, exactly. Shit. Alright, I can't go that way. I have to go a different way. Uh, uh. Controls are so bad. We worked with what we had in, in the 90s. I feel like I already went up there and I didn't find anything. This is a great 3D for a PS1 game. Yeah, it is. Maybe I didn't see a present over here. Shit. How long ago since this stream started? Uh, I don't know because I actually don't have OBS up. Hold on. Let me pause if I'm gonna do this, because uh, if I unclick this menu, it gets messed up. Uh, I started streaming an hour and a half ago, and I'm gonna go for another hour. I would have gone for three, but um... Oh, I didn't, I, because I forgot when I started. Uh, I would have gone for three tonight, but it started late, because I was having technical difficulties. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, maybe I'm just, maybe I was just seeing things. Maybe I got everything here already. I've played this game before. Yeah, I think I'm just seeing things. I don't think there was anything I missed. Yeah, I started from the beginning. This is my game for... The next couple days. No. Oh. I I don't know how long this is gonna take me to beat. Um, I kind of have it planned so that I was gonna do this game today through Thursday, and then I was gonna do uh, because then Friday uh, Trials of Mana comes out, and I'm gonna be streaming that. But uh, I don't know if this is gonna be beaten in four days. I don't feel like. What? Why did I fly over there? That was weird. Uh, but also now there's that big Mario Maker update coming out on Wednesday, and I'm like, oh, I gotta play that, too. It's a short game, anyway. I try to catch my streams. Oh, thank you. Um, once I beat this, at some point in the future, I'm gonna do Solo to Robo. Uh, don't know if it's gonna be anytime soon. Why did that happen? This jetpack's terrible. Did they add amiibo skins? No. They're adding a lot, just no amiibo stuff, and that's unfortunate. World Builder, which is pretty cool. It, it, it does look like a sizable update. I'm just upset that's the last one. Uh, let's board the airship and head to Furzen. So I've finished these two areas. Uh, I've finished Rasaka. I've finished the ship already. So it's Furzen, and then... Actually, this this game really that short? Damn. I remember there being a... And I know there's a cut another area. The two areas that spawn in. You want to see a Wario Landmaker? Oh, I would love that. Look! It's Furzen! I wonder what the head of the Iron Giant looks like. Isn't this exciting? Princess Terria, I'm going to get in trouble if you walk around unescorted. Oh my god. I forgot about that droopy voice. Oh, you always overreact. Frozen is with the miner with the candid photo I saw from another stream. Oh, cool. We just came here to look, right? Man, it's been a long time since I've played this game. Yes, but... Oh, that's... Droopy has to babysit princesses since his glory days at MGM. Ooh, 
royal family gets this dinky ass little airship while the black cats somehow get a like a friggin' dirigible. Why did they hijack uh, that airship if they needed, if they had this? How did how does Alicia get all those resources? I'm assuming that other cat gave them gave them to him. I also remember the minecart section of this area being very, very frustrating and requiring multiple go-throughs. What happened? The Black Cats gang have kidnapped the princess. Princess? You mean Princess Teria? Yes, that princess. She wanted to see the head of the Iron Giant, so we came here to see it. But we were ambushed by the Black Cats gang. The next thing I knew, she was gone. Fool, but is he richer than the princess? He struck me more as a rapper, conman, or pimp with all that bling, rather than richer than royalty. Uh, that's a good question, actually. I don't know. He was an oh, entrepreneur. Dear. If anything happens to the princess, I don't deserve to live. Hold on a minute. It's not your fault. Don't worry. I'll save Princess Teria. I Promise. Princess. Oh, princess. Please be okay. I keep forgetting I switched the controls and now I keep hitting the <sighs> stick. How many of these whistles do I have? 13. Those are extra lives, right? I'm fine, but I'm terribly worried about the princess. Probably get it where all their comedic villain trios like the Bonds, Team Rocket, Duromo, etc. get their infinite resources from. Well, I mean, the Bonds got them from Glide. We actually had an explanation for that one. Black cats just showed up here. They must be up to something. Hey, I forgot. That's where they got their giant, the Gezel Shaft. Yep. That dive move is so very bad. Is that a cat girl on the wall of the minor house? Yeah, it is. I just saw three cat girls carrying a girl that looked just like the princess. They put her in an airship and took her to the top of the cliff. Oh, right, there's enemies here. Is it possible that it was really the princess? No, couldn't be. <laughs> One of the miners has a secret in his diary. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I actually saw that. Is it was it that in that house or was it one higher up? Try approaching the cliff slowly. The robot can hang onto the edge of the cliff. I think you could also move while hanging. up house, okay. Ugh. Uh. Yeah, break stuff. Uh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, there is a, there is a very small amount of cats in this game, and I think they kind of... Waffle alludes to that in the opening. He says it's full of dog people and a few cat people. And I think the implication is that Prairie in general is just a very dog-centric, uh, country. First mine. Ugh. Remember these areas being a pain? You could get to... Oh, I missed that. The mine is pretty tricky, so you should use the map or you might get lost. One goes to nine and eight. 
and also two and three and four. But you can't actually take the cart from one. Oh no, eight and nine just go to one area. But that few people? There's a guy saying you can't look at my diary, so you have to wait till you clear the mine first, though. Black cats are ruining the mine! Please do something! I imagine that larger discrepancy is more of a game thing. Perhaps. Um, I know it's a lot more even in Soul Out of Robo. Alright, let's go to four. Follow it back anyway, so it's fine. Boom. The second mine has been closed since the arrival of the Black Cats. Like, ten dogs for a cat is more of a realistic number. I just didn't want to... This door won't open. There's a sign. Second mine closed. Probably just didn't want to, didn't have the time to do minor cat NPC models just for window dressing. Perhaps. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. Reminded of a Saturn platformer with annoying minecart jump sections. Uh, I reminded of Donkey Kong Country, but those minecarts weren't too bad. And you had Donkey Kong Country Returns, which like filled the game with them. And it was like, okay, we get it, they were popular, but they were a very small number of stages in the game. The game was Dark Savior. Oh, never heard of that one. The DK Returns, a uh, good game, much better than the original. I think it stands up, it, it stacks up pretty well. I don't even know how to play Saturn games, like, I don't even have a way of playing Saturn games at the moment. Felzen instead of Furzen. Oof! Wait, there we go. Wee! the diary. Hey, are you trying to read my diary? I won't let you. I won't. I won't! Hey, get out of here. My diary has... Oops, I almost told you my secret. Dialogue. I meant... No, wait, you were thinking of Tropical Freeze. Tropical Freeze is much better than Returns. I've heard good things about Tropical Freeze, but I haven't played it yet. Just a table and cabinets in that lonely miner's house, yeah. Huh. Okay. Just pop the balloon so they can't leave. Took me a while to play sound games. Eventually settled for open EMU. Use a Mac. Oh. Interesting.
Huh? I hear voices on the other side of the door. How lucky we came here looking for a crystal, but it looks like we found ourselves a princess, too. <laughs> Do you think you can get away with this? Untie this rope. Let me go. Let me go this instant. Oh, pipe down. Stare, are you sure that this is the princess? I should be using that slap How attack. How dare you? Someone's coming. I remember having a lot of trouble with some of the bosses in this game. I wonder if using the slap would make this any easier. Princess Terria. Waffle! Darn, you found us already! Stop this! Let Princess Terria go! Well... What should we do? First of all, give back the crystal I left it for Sokka. Okay. Waffle hands the red crystal to Flair. Now release the princess. Ugh. I said first of all, didn't I? One more request. Find the crystal hidden in the mine. If I bring it to you, you'll release the princess, right? Don't. Don't listen to them. You could just release her now and I'll find it. It's not like Waffle would be that unhappy to cooperate. Can I seriously not go through mine too until I've, uh... Yeah. It's no use. I can't save the princess if I don't get the crystal. It's funny how the game opens with that backstory cutscene, and it's really like, it doesn't really go into much detail about it. Yeah, it goes into it deeper later, but... Oh no, oh no! Oh fuck me. Alright. Yeah, this game's not too forgiving. With the... With the jump stuff. Flapping kind of makes you lose all sideways momentum. Imagine a random citizen going saying, Waffle, just take Alicia back, please, as this town is being bombarded in a police and black cat war zone. That'd be cool even if he's a cop, yeah. Whoops. This game is very special. Okay.
Well, they found the egg. The inside is hollow. I wonder if the crystal was hidden here. One. Wait a minute. Oh, is it a one-way? That's what it is. Cool that Waffle could just ride that without... Oh. Cool that Waffle could just ride that without falling out. Waffle is wearing his hat backwards. I uh, saw a, Wari a Mar yeah, Mario Land 2 Maker mod once. Oh, cool. Fuck! Uh, that's why that health refills there. Mario Land 2 as the Game Boy game Mario was introduced. Oh, yeah. So it was like a mod that made uh, let you do Maker with it. I've seen some of the skin mods that they've done. Waffles is a very unassuming cop. He's a good boy, though. There we go. Back up to that fucking uh, ladder now. Mosey. Oh man, that reminds me. I really want to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. Ugh. I'll have to do that in my spare time after I finish Trials of Mana. Okay, this is just the other side of this. Where's the, um... That, that thing I could get on top of one of the things down there? First mine. Aside from coal, this mine also held relics of an ancient civilization. We'll take seven to six, six to three. We've already gone to four, haven't we? Yeah, we did. We went to four. And then we wrote it back. So now I could go to three. Three, two, and five, and then back to one. Bone. Kitten's the one thing cuter than the serve bots. Uh, opinions. I kind of beg to disagree there.
Actually, you know what? I disagree on, on another term. Um, the serve bots and the kittens both pale in comparison to the bird bots that Clyde has. Those are the best. Three. Okay, there's a gift over there. Fuck! Missed it. I have to go back. Glide was funny. Yeah, he was. I love how Glide, of all characters, became, like, a prominent Navi in the Battle Network series. Makes no sense. Aside from the fact that he's just a rich butler. Glide, and then some of the later games spell it with an I instead. They go back and forth in the uh, English versions. These bombs explode quick. Where did I just come from? Six? Okay. So I can go to one, two, and five. Uh, well, wait, let me go back and get the uh, thing I missed first. What happened to his drill nose boss? Was he still in prison or what? Actually, that's a good question. I have no clue. Miss that. Hate this. There we go. Let's go to one, and then we'll go to two. Just because I, I need to go do every track here. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. That up there, shit. One more treasure in this path. Eh. Here we go. Blech. Shit. And then jump and grab it. That's what I have to do. Oh my god, really? Alright. In the interest of time, we're gonna we're gonna cut out the tedium here. <laughs> Imagine doing this on an actual PS1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this game is pretty damn expensive. I actually originally played this on my PSP. Uh, don't tell anyone. Look, I'm just overclocking my PS1. There we go. Let's go to two and five. 
Wish you could mod your PS Vita. Grinding in games like Tax is so working and boring. Yeah. I totally understand the grind. That's why I do like, um... I do like the speed-up function. Oh god, more enemies? For, uh, modern games. Like, I like how the modern re-releases of the Final Fantasy games on, like, the Switch and stuff and PC have speed up and also experience up just to alleviate the tedium. But let's be honest, those games can get really grindy. I heavily modded my PSP. Uh, I love that system. I didn't get it until after it was almost outdated already, but there's so much stuff you could do with it. Oh, this kitten was carrying something. The green crystal. It's a square. Alright, to five. Ka five. Remake, which is basically a whole new game with the same mechanics was made by Square. It's complicated. Yeah, I know. I mean the modern ports, not the remakes. According to the legend, our ancestors were destroyed by the Iron Giant. you see on your way here is the Iron Giants. I'm not sure it's real, though. Oh, have you you've played Tactics Ogre? No, not really. I've never played it. I've, I've seen uh, my brother play Ogre Battle 64. Oh, so that's the Iron Giant's head. That's weird. I thought that wasn't what it looked like. Okay, where to now? Uh, I still haven't gone from two to three yet, so I'll do that real quick, see if there's anything there. Nope, looks like it was just a straight shot. Side tone experiencing interruptions, what? Hold on. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Am I dropping? Doesn't look like it. Side note, I meant that instead of side to, oh, okay. <laughs> Experiencing interruptions. Uh, it doesn't seem that bad on my stream. Let me see what the uh, bitrate, subs, viewers, to... There's two people viewing me. Wait, how come I can make that number go away? Video keeps buffering now. No idea if it's me issue or something else. I'm definitely not... Uh, let me load. Let me load it on my uh, phone here and see what's going on. Really hope it isn't fucked up. Buffering now. No idea if it's me issue or something else. I'm definitely not... Uh, let me load. Let me load it on my uh, phone. That's me. Why am I streaming in 576p? I don't understand that. I have a really good computer. I've upped. Yeah, that's no, fine. I'm not. Uh, I'm not buffering on my end. Um, I don't know why I'm broadcasting in such a low resolution. It's very weird. It's working fine now. I think it might have just been your internet. All right, let's go to seven because that'll take me upstairs, and that's where I want to go.
Honestly, this was less annoying than Airedale. Or Air, uh... Air, Air, whatever. Air Tenelico. <laughs> Waffle, don't do that, please. Don't do that either. <laughs> He's waffling all over the place. That sucks. Okay, there's the thing. I don't have to go all the way up there to get it. I would say try lowering the stream quality, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. Actually, I don't even know if you could do that with my stream. Have you tried Tear Ring Saga on PS1? No, I have not. Isn't that by the people who made, a uh, uh, Fire Emblem? I wish I could see what I'm doing. Okay, so it's right below that platform. It's right below here. Yeah, Tear Ring Saga's Fire Emblem on the PS1. It was originally, like, there were two groups of people working on it. <gasps> yes! Yes! I think that would be that easy. It's a Fire Emblem game in all but name, yeah. Pretty hungry. Almost three in the morning. Uh, I think there's a health refill down here I didn't grab yet. Yeah, the tier ring saga is by the guy who did the first six games. Wait, six? Are you sure? Because six was on the GBA. I think oh, Tearing Saga happened after that. Or before that, rather. You're in the California time zone. Nice! I want to move out there someday. You're in Pacific Standard Time. I am in Eastern Standard Time. I'm in New Jersey. Oh, you're counting the Satellaview's Fire Emblem. I forgot about that. Wait, isn't 5 Satellaview Sire, Sire Fire Emblem? I thought Thrashia 776 was actually a Satellaview game. It was actually also released very late. It was released in like 2000, which was already like four years after the N64 came out. No, the Rassia 776 was released on the SNS with a physical and a download, and yes, the 64 was out. There was a cancelled 64 port. Interesting. There's a cancelled 64 Advance Wars too, which looks pretty neat, because it would connect to the uh, Game Boy. 
and you can, uh, like, take whatever map you were playing with you. I don't know how that would work, though, since even the GBA couldn't save downloaded data. Waffle hands the green crystal to Flare. Waffle... She must mean a lot to you. No, I just met her. Of course. Princess Terria is irreplaceable. Please, don't do this to the people of Prairie. <laughs> the dog people of Prairie should suffer more! A lot more! Alicia! Alicia, a promise is a promise. I know. Here! Yep, Alicia is jealous. Yes! She's the tsundere. Now we have two of the crystals. We're gonna charge him up. I'm so glad you're all right. I, I've never been happier. I'm sorry that I made you worry. Waffle, thank you. Pancake. to have that one had two gifts. None of the other ones do. What feeds ca uh, kidnapping our princess? Master Waffle, please teach the black cats a lesson they'll never forget. Oh, I'm stuck here, aren't I? Princess Terria, are you alright? Yes, thanks to you, Waffle. Fuck, I thought that was going to be a scene transition. Panta. Yeah! Oh, I did it! I escaped! Panta, have you been waiting to ambush the Black Cats gang again? There's also the Berwick Saga on the PS2, which is by the same people, but less like FE, but still good. Don't think a modded PSP classic can play PS2, though. No. The reason PSP can play uh, PS1 games is because it actually has a native PS1 emulator built into it. In fact, if you have the right tools... You can take any PlayStation 1 ROM and convert it to a PSP ROM. Yep, uh, but this time I got stuck in this box. I'm telling you, I was getting kind of scared. The Prairie Police Force will hire anyone. More importantly, it seems that the three sisters went through this door. Door? No, wait, I gotta get some health back. A dog whistle. Uh. And then silence. That's awesome that you can convert games. Child labor soldiers are big in prairie, yeah. I forgot there was a boss here. What even is this boss? What is that thing? My sentiments exactly. <laughs> My new invention, the Black Cat Mecha 2. This isn't the thing with the megaphone, right? That's later. There's nothing left for me here. So I'll just drill holes all over the place. You know, we gave you what you wanted. You could just leave. Stop it, Alicia! You'll destroy the mine! I told you, I love to make the dog people suffer. Come on, stop me if you can! Ouch! 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 That does hurt enemies, cool. Here I go! 
And honestly, the bubbles do just as much damage. Calmly riding in the back. That's just kind of how she is. Ow. I'm done. Officer Waffle, I'm here to help you. Let me fix the police robo. Slap and fire? I don't know, can I? Oh, you're right, I can. I have to kind of claw the controller, though, to do this. I love how empty this battle arena looks. Is a little wonky. You can tell those uh, voice clips were not localized. No, they're just talking in uh, Japanese. They're making like Japanese onomatopoeia. Alicia. Who, me? I always thought you sided with the cat people. I'm a dog. What do you want me to do? What? Alicia. <laughs> Siding with the cat people? What's that supposed to mean? Oh? These are the crystals I just gave them. Why would they leave them behind? Silly. I was so scared today. It's, yeah, it's more advantage advantageous to have a friend that's on the force. I've never... Yeah, I figured that. She's never been kidnapped Caria, before. I beg you to behave more like a princess. Well, I don't regret what happened. Because I was able to meet Waffle. Huh? Everyone's horny for Waffle. P princess Why don't we go back to Praria Castle together? My father will be pleased. He will be most pleased. I've never been to Praria, and besides... Don't worry about it. Let's go. Praria Castle. You could tell that they superimposed the uh, English over that. Is there anything in that boss arena that I missed? I might have to go back there and look. <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh my god. Yes, I'll do my best. I think you go back to the diary guy and get his candid photo. Oh, cool. Phew. That was nerve wracking. Waffle, wait. Oh, this dude. I'm Cyan Garland. 
Captain of the Prairie of Palace Guards, I would like to challenge you to a contest. Contest? I wonder if he mumbled like that in Japan. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Yes, look that's that up. right. I can't let a cop like you hog all of Princess Terry's admiration. This time, we'll see which one of us will capture the black cats first. It's Dog Marth. Right. Then our princess will know who the real dog is. <laughs> Dogs can't sweat. Why is Waffle getting that little thingy over his head? Oh, you can't actually go back there. Uh, I don't think there's there's nothing to do in old spots once you go to new ones, right? I'm just gonna go back here. The guy who who's has ostensibly cooler than Milk Toast Waffle when he's actually the virgin of waffles, Chad. Wonder if I in disdain's pants too. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? There's a diary on the table. Date. May 5th, 1995. Weather, sunny. Today I found something wonderful in the mine. It's beautiful. I hid it on the drill outside so that no one would steal it. Drill outside. Martha doesn't wear pants in the NES and SNES. Oh, right, he doesn't. He wears the, uh... He has, like, the little, the little cloth. Ow. Ow. Hmm? There's something in the maintenance hatch. Awful found a photograph. Oh, I lost control of my hands. Well, better get back to work. is really an engine tank. <laughs> I think the only thing else in that boss room was just a connecting door to the rest of the mines in case you missed anything. But I'll go and check anyway, because honestly, it's 2.50. I'm going to stop streaming in a few minutes, and I'd rather not load another world up. Lonely Miner's Naughty Photo. Giant sword to compensate for his own insecurity. It's called Cyan, yet wears red, repels the ladies in his attempt to get attention. Yep, that's a JRPG uh, pro tag for you, or supporting character. Makes a goofy, flappy arm mecha badass. Delightful food-based name. Can't keep a pirate girl and princess off of him. Yep. This room's so weird. Like, the floor isn't even textured. It's just a flat color. Okay, yeah. This was just the door back to the first mine. It's just the door to four. Pointless, but at least they were consistent. This isn't bad. We got through, like, the first... I don't even know how much of this game this was. I think it was, like, close to half, honestly. Because I think you do the first chunk of worlds, then you do the second chunk of worlds, and then you do the finale. Worlds, like, islands, rather. It's the intro area. Yeah, maybe they did it to save, uh, computing power. 
Then again, this, this area is pretty big, so I don't know. exactly are we going? I thought we'd go to Grimto and Coolant, but apparently not. Did Cyan say where to go? Maybe I have to go to Porto and get the uh, mission sent to me. Different people, too. Grimto is a famous tourist spot. The view of the huge sword jutting from the forest is so majestic and romantic. Waffle, when you have a girlfriend, you should bring her to a place like that. Do you know the black cat's pet, Gub Gub? Yeah, the one with the mean face that makes noises with its teeth. Its skin is really tough, so fighting it is useless. You'd be much wiser to just run away. A stiff waffle run walks. It's very weird. Princess Terry is so beautiful. She's beautiful and virtuous. A real lady. When I grow up, I want to be just like her. A giant sword is so romantic. Alicia is sure to be up uh, impressed. She cares not for giant swords. Wow, look how many- look how much progress I made here. So we got the two cats, with the bomb. Uh... Princess, I guess incognito. I already saw this before, but uh... Felicia. Stare. Who is staring at something? Pirate cats. Stare again, reading a book. I'm guessing Stare is pretty popular. Here we have Cyan in nothing but a bathing suit. No nipples, but he has a belly button. Here's Cyan holding a rose in his mouth. Uh, we've already seen this one. This is the, uh, yeah, the butler and, uh, Waffle's grandpappy. And there's Panta. Running to something. Probably donuts. So I'm missing four, twelve... 13, 14. So there's only 14 pictures left. Not bad. 14 pieces left. Yeah, which picture was the miner hiding? Was he hiding this one or this one? Cyan. Wow. Oh, a message. I wonder who it's from. Yep, there we go. Master Waffle, I have great news. What is it? Our Praria informants located the three sisters. What? Really? Yes, absolutely. All Cyan has one admirer, at least. It seems that they're heading for the famous tourist spot, Grimto. Grimto? Oh, is that where the huge iron giant sword is enshrined? Yes, that's Grimto indeed. So, Waffle, please go there as soon as you can. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I better go then. Nothing better to do. Yeah, it's Grimto, Coolant, and then I kind of enter the end game. Yeah, this game's not much longer. I might beat this in another stream, honestly. I thought this was going to take me four days, which is fine, because then I could do Mario Maker Wednesday and then uh, probably take a break Thursday before Secret of Mana or Trials of Mana comes out. I'm just gonna save again, and then we'll uh, we'll call quits here, just so we don't have to sit through the cutscene again. The 
think there's more. I know there's more. There's another, um, there's another area that pops up, like another airship type thing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, this was a good stream, but I think it'll be two streams before you complete this. Depends. I mean, I got here in less than three hours, so I think if tomorrow's stream takes three, I might get close to it. I'm not sure. Either way, um, <clears throat> I will continue this tomorrow. Pro no, probably earlier, probably tw uh, midnight, because I started like at 12.30 tonight. Uh, so that would be nine, your time. Um, yeah, I'll do this again tomorrow. Probably finish it Wednesday if it's not done, then do Mario Maker's update. Uh, Thursday I'll probably take off, and then Friday is Trials of Mana, um, which I'll be resuming from where the demo ends. The demo VODs from March, parts one and two, will be uploaded to my YouTube archive on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Um... The VOD for the Trials of Mana Part 1 will be on Wednesday around 1 p.m. Eastern, and then uh, Part 2 will be Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern on my uh, stream archive page. And then Friday, I'll do Part 3 from where the demo picks up. And then after that, uh, we'll see. Saturday, I'll probably do Animal Crossing. That's kind of like my thing now. I'll probably just stream Animal Crossing on Saturday afternoons. But yeah, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. Uh, always love to play games that other people like. But that I like as well. <laughs> I don't like playing games that I don't like. That's not fun. Uh, I will hopefully see you tomorrow. You have a great evening, and uh, take care. Uh, why did Steam just open up? How was it supposed to happen? Okay. Now have a good night, and now I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>